Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Well, I had a couple of folks message to ask, what on earth is a mouse house? <laughs> it's not a mouse trap. We used to make this kind of stuff back in the day. I'm gonna date myself. Let's go way back to the early 1990s before we had ready access to switches and stuff. And uh, Linda Barkhart had this handout, which thankfully Spectronix still has archived. They gave instructions on how to make your own mouse house. And so basically you took this binder or something like a photo book. It had to have some depth to it to put the mouse, the computer mouse inside it. And then it gave you instructions on how to like carve out a sponge and um, anyway, to make your very own mouse house. And that, that actually gave kids computer access to basically like cause and effect um, switch games. So I'll post the link to this handout um, in the description on YouTube because it's no longer available out on Linda Burkhart's website because people, I don't think, really make these things anymore. But I was curious. I don't even use a wired mouse, but I had, I'm going to get out of this. Let's see, I had just a regular Bluetooth mouse. And what's interesting is I have a few of these and some require a little thing that you plug into your USB port on your um, uh, laptop and that wouldn't work. You need one that can truly just run off of uh, the Bluetooth connection. Um, and so I thought, hmm, I wonder what I have here around the house that I could use to mock up <laughs> a mouse house. I don't keep binders and all that kind of stuff on hand anymore. Um, so I have this little pillbox container that I got at the Vera Bradley outlet shop. And in true Linda Burkhart fashion, you know, using what you have on hand. So I have a sponge for painting and I have some Velcro. This is removable vel Velcro because I didn't want to ruin my little case here by doing this, but just kind of mocking something up. And then I put, let me make sure my mouse is on. And so then I put it in here and I'd probably, if I were going to really use this in real life, well, I really wouldn't use this particular setup because you would want something uh, probably with a plastic cover, something more durable. But the point is, is you have this. Can you hear the clicking? So it's activating just that one side there. And so let me get over into um, a cause and effect app that I have. And so I'm gonna set it to hard and normally you would activate, build this picture by touching the screen. What this is doing is the phone is pushing down on the correct button. So any kind of cause and effect type game, and if you have the right kind of Bluetooth mouse, you could make yourself a mouse house. <laughs> so I also tried it out. Let's see. Um, go over to something else kind of simple. We go to Go Talk. And let me find my one where I have my video. Song and video choices. Player. Now, actually it wouldn't work on this because this you have to make a choice. So you need something where there's just one thing on the screen. Let me go over to some of my cause and effect switch accessible apps to give you an example. Here's one of my favorite from Help the Kids Learn. And 
So let me back up so you can see. So I'm gonna activate my switcher with my do-it-yourself mouse house. And this works because, okay, see that little gray dot that just showed up? Pretty much that target is the whole screen. So you're not actually having to touch right there with your finger. like a mouse house following the extra instructions that I'll put below. Again, this is just what I happen to have on hand here at my house that I channeled my best Linda Burkhart and cobbled together something. The point being, you need to have something that can activate whatever it is that you're needing to push. I think um, I've seen some versions where they used a glue stick, but in my experience, that never held up very well. Those usually broke off. So I liked this because it was enough to activate it, but not hard enough that it was gonna damage my um, mouse here. Anyway, hope you guys find this helpful.